Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Dana and it has been a while since I filmed. You might be seeing this video and you've seen others, but I haven't really filmed since mm, like a month or so ago when I was filming for the 14 days of sunscreen. And then I had some that I had pre-filmed that went up kind of sporadically afterward. But hi, <laughs> it's nice to be back. I have been quite busy. I've got a lot on my plate right now. If you follow me over on Instagram, which you should, you'll know I have a sick cat <laughs> and that's been a lot. Like it's been pretty much like the one thing occupying my brain at the time. And then of course I work and I've been traveling a little bit to see friends and family and whatnot. So I'm excited to sit down and film because I have, this is just one handful of new sunscreens, but I have a lot. So I'm gonna be doing a video for each of them because I think some of them are special enough to warrant their own video. Sometimes I do like a roundup of new sunscreens, but for right now, I think I wanna do them separately. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm itching. Also, I have a few housekeeping things to let you know about and then we'll get into it and I will timestamp it. But this glare, because of my lights and I changed the like setup, it's temporary. I'm getting stuff today, but I need to film in the morning. So those will be gone by I don't know, soon. <laughs> Secondly, if you notice, I still have this rash on my neck. I'm gonna go to the dermatologist next week, but it's gonna limit me from putting sunscreen on my neck right now. So normally when I do apply my sunscreen, I use my quarter of a teaspoon and I apply it to my neck and face. Today, I'm gonna be applying a little bit less because I'm not gonna be putting it on my neck because it's just getting irritated all the time. I have a little bit of ointment on and that's that. So nothing to worry about, it'll get cleared up. I think it's just some dermatitis. But yeah, I think that's the housekeeping. Um, am I missing anything? Oh, one small little thing. And I'm only gonna say this in this video, even though I am batch filming, that's what I do on the weekends because I work normal nine to five during the week. My face has gotten quite a bit of sun lately, not on purpose. I'm going to be filming a video about this in a little bit, so you'll see it. But if you're wondering why my face looks darker, yeah, I noticed that too. It's not something I wanted. Um, some sunscreens just, <laughs> we're not working. So I will get to that in a little bit, but if you're wondering, again, that's why. Okay, housekeeping is done. Let's get into this video. And thanks again for watching. If you're not subscribed, do so below, give it a big old like, and we'll get in. Okay guys, so the one I'm talking about today is the Then I Met You Essence Light Sunscreen. So this is the Then I Met You Essence Light Sunscreen SPF 50. It retails for $36 and it comes in 1.69 fluid ounces or 50 milliliters, which is your pretty standard amount for sunscreen. Okay, let's read a little bit about this. So on their website, they say, essences are a staple in Korean skincare and typically applied after toner as a liquid hydrating nourishing product. But essences can also come in the form of skincare packed sunscreen. Our new Essence Light Sunscreen provides broad spectrum SPF 50 protection in a lightweight ferment enriched formula. Blends seamlessly into all skin tones for a hydrated, luminous complexion. I would agree with that. <laughs> so this one is supposed to be a barely there chemical sunscreen to be worn alone as a base for makeup application without pilling or cakiness. As far as key ingredients, we have galactomite ferment filtrate gff um, it's a fermented sake that has proven skincare benefits which is pretty cool um, ceramides which we all know and love hyaluronic acid pro vitamin b5 and then as far as our active ingredients this is a chemical sunscreen you've got three percent avobenzone nine percent homosalate 4.5 percent octosalate and five percent octocrylene Okay, so looking at my face, you definitely have that glow. It looks like the glass skin kind of look that you want from, I think, Korean skincare, but also just like that's the look right now, glowy skincare, which 
I love, it looks like you just got a facial, love it. I will tell you that it doesn't feel heavy. It feels a little greasy, but nothing to the point where like, I'm like, I need to take this off my face. That said, if you have more oily skin or if you live in a very hot climate where you just are naturally sweating more, this could be a lot for you. So I would say if you are drier skin or more normal or you just live in a drier climate, then this is gonna be really nice for you because it is gonna act as your moisturizer, as your skincare, and, and as your sunscreen as well. But like I said, it doesn't feel overly tacky and greasy. It doesn't feel like I want to kind of like get it off my face or my hair is gonna get stuck to it, but it is a lot for me. I think what this is gonna be perfect for, for me, my skin type is more normal, a little bit more oily combo, and then especially in the summertime, it goes to the more oily side. But in the winter when it's drier out, this is gonna be a great sunscreen to wear on its own or underneath makeup. It just does pack that kind of punch of moisture. Um, it gives you this really nice glow to your skin. It doesn't look like your skin is actually like overly like disco ball-y. It doesn't have any particles or reflective pieces in it. It just looks like you got a facial, which is a really nice look. It does feel like it also kind of soaks in. It doesn't kind of sit on the skin, which is really nice. So I think it's just gonna come down to your skin type, but there's absolutely no cast, there's no scent to it. I have no irritation in my eyes and I've worn it multiple times, like getting it all in there. So it's a pretty perfect sunscreen if you're looking for something like this. Um, and again, my skin type, just probably not gonna be reaching for it a lot in the summertime, but come winter, I think I'm gonna be reaching for it more and more. I also just wanna mention, this is like your normal amount of sunscreen, but it feels very nice and like small sized, if that's a word. So you can travel with it. It's a plastic uh, bottle with a little squeeze pump or squeeze tube. There you go. So there's nothing really wrong about it, but if I'm going to be completely honest, I think I was expecting something more from them. You know, this is their first sunscreen and it feels like a normal sunscreen, to be honest. Like I could go and get a La Roche-Posay one for like five, ounces and it cost me $30 and it would kind of feel the same like I have a few of those that just feel pretty normal I mean it doesn't smell like sunscreen so if you are kind of comparing it to like something from the drugstore this does feel more elegant but it doesn't feel like it's that revolutionary so if you do want to spend $36 and that's not a problem for you it's a lovely sunscreen I just again I don't think it's revolutionary and I was expecting something a little bit more revolutionary and when they say like essence light I was thinking it was going to be really really fluid very 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 light more kind of in the vein of like something like the Amphelios UV Immune one where it really soaked into your skin a lot but this one Again, just kind of feels like a normal sunscreen, a cream. I think the branding is good that they call it like an essence light and have all that marketing kind of stuff in it. But to me, it just feels like a sunscreen. So nothing bad about it. I'm not saying that this is bad sunscreen by any stretch, just not maybe what I was expecting. And since I've had it, I've had it on my desk where I get ready. I just haven't been reaching for it because again, like it's not that revolutionary. <laughs> so yeah. I think that's about all I have for this one. If you are interested in it, definitely purchase it from the Then I Met You website. It got here really quickly and I just trust that a little bit more than some of the other like Amazon places to buy it. So I'm gonna actually be covering that in a video soon. So look out for that. But yes, I will link it below if you're interested. If you have drier skin, this would be a really good option. But again, you can probably find cheaper options that do the same thing. So that's it guys. I will see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye.